Well, good news. Transmission bolts up to the motor just fine. So that's my 32RH bolted up to my 318 Magnum out of a Jeep. You can tell it's out of a Jeep because the compressor and the power steering pump, the AC compressor, the power steering pump, and the motor mounts and stuff are different, like that. But, the good news is, what is not different is the bell housing, and there's plenty of room to bolt the starter up. It's right in there. Look at that. And there's where the starter goes. That's it. No, oh, just lost my light because the battery's low. Anyways, there she be. I'm going to put the little cover plate on the front of the air, that plate that's up here, the dust cover, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm going to pressure wash it. I take them Jeep mounts off, put the 39 mounts on there. Hopefully they fit. And uh, bolt her up in the car and see what happens. Oh, I got to pull that fan too. I won't we'll get to that. I gotta make me a little spanner wrench to go into the the grooves in the water pump pulley so I can take that nut off of there. By the way, these turn counterclockwise to take them out, just so you know. Yep, the only real difference between this and the Dodge is the uh, starter's different. It's got a bigger uh, ring gear. The starter goes on the opposite side. AC compressor is different. The power steering pump's different, and the mounts are different. That's about it. Oh, the man exhaust manifolds are different, and the Y pipe's different too. That's expected. All right. Oh yeah, check it out. The uh, what you call it? Even hooked up uh, throttle valve cable. So that just hooks right up too. That's the same damn. Uh, throttle body is the V6 uses just a slightly larger size for the V8 and that's it all right well here we are we're getting ready to start wiring the speed we know up we're gonna run her in uh, paired injector mode uh, semi sequential four four outputs two injectors per output and that's how she shall be I'm glad to see this. Well, I'll see you later.